Welcome to Accounting on Excel with Amaka Fibonando. Today we'll be looking at uh, an Excel function, which is a subtotal function. There is quite a uniqueness in working with a subtotal function, and that's what we'll be looking at today. We have um, departmental budget for each quarter listed below. So we'll be using the subtotal function to get each quarter's total, that's the group's um, total for the budget, and we'll also use that same function to get the total for the entire year. So let's just go in and begin. Remember, for you to write in a formula, you start with the equal to sign. So equal to, we use the subtotal, subtotal function. So we want to get the sum. So you use the sum, nine, then, you select the range from this point to this point and that's it we are done with this so we'll go to quarter two repeat the same thing quarter two subtotal we want to get the sum okay then select the range Go to quarter three equals to sorry subtotal. We're using the subtotal. Then select the range. Enter. Then you do the same for quarter four. Go to subtotal. We'll select the subtotal, we want to get the sum and select the range. Then close the brackets, enter. Now, as you can see, we now have the sub subtotal for each of the quarter that we have for the, uh, the subtotal for quarter one, subtotal for quarter two, subtotal for quarter three, subtotal for quarter four. Now, for us to get the company's total, we'll also use the subtotal and we'll select the entire range. Because we have used subtotal in each of this quarter, what the subtotal for the, the, um, the company's total does is to pick it to, it, 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 it to pick the other sets except the subtotal. So that's the uniqueness. So we'll do that and we'll also do the sum function so still that you can see the difference with the, um, the sum and the subtotal and see how unique the subtotal function is. So we use the subtotal to get the total for the year. We've gotten for quarter one, we've gotten for quarter two, we've gotten for quarter three, quarter four. So we want to get for the entire year. So we use the same subtotal. Subtotal still, we're looking for the sum. So you select the entire cell range. So normally, if it was a sum, it will add everything. So just watch and see how it goes. So we selected it, including the subtotal of each of the quarter. So we selected it, and there we go. So you see what it does is that it sums the entire, entire range we selected, except the subtotal. Except the subtotal. So you can see the uniqueness of the subtotal function. Now, if I was to use the sum to do the same thing here, the sum formula, sum, sum formula, and I now selected this entire range. Watch and see the value to give to me. That's this entire range, just as I did for total. You see, it's given me, it selected both the subtotal and the individual values. So you see the uniqueness of the subtotal function, right? You can use it for each quarter, that is your subs, and you can also use it for your grand total, you understand? So that's how the subtotal function was, and I believe you will definitely find it very useful in carrying out your tax, right? Thanks for staying on, on this lesson. If you find this lesson um, very useful and and it has added value to you, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more of these lessons. Thanks so much and hope to see you in our next lesson. Bye for now.